Welcome friends. You might have heard the word excitotoxicity a lot of times. But many of us are not clear with the concepts of excitotoxicity. We all know that excitotoxicity is significant in many diseases like Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, amyotropic lateral sclerosis, fibromyalgia, Huntington disease and a lot of neurodegenerative diseases. It is a causative pathway for many of the neurodegenerative diseases. But most of us are not clear with the concept how the excitotoxicity occurs. Coming to the definition, excitotoxicity is a pathological process by which neurons are damaged and killed by overactivations of receptors for glutamate such as NMDA, AMPA and metabotropic. Coming to the process, let's do it step by step. I have given numbers as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and up to, until, until 16. Like this indicates each and every step in a chronological order. Coming to the step 1, glutamate binds to the AMPA receptors and this causes unblocking of NMDA receptors and calcium influx occur. The influxed calcium causes depolarization and due to depolarization voltage gated calcium channels open and a lot of calcium ions influx into the neuron occurs. Due to a lot of calcium ions the vesicle fuses with the membrane and the release of glutamate occurs. The released glutamate will bind to the metabotropic receptors and this binding causes effect on the endoplasmic reticulum and it also stimulates to release the calcium from endoplasmic reticulum. This calcium causes opening of sodium channels and a lot of sodium ions enter into the cell. The sodium ions are exchanged with calcium by a sodium calcium exchanger. Due to this all the processes like as you can see the first process from NMDA receptors, the second process is from voltage gated calcium channels. And the third process is endoplasmic reticulum and the fourth process is sodium calcium exchanger. Due to these four processes, a lot of calcium load occurs in the neuron. Due to which the level of free radicals increases, reactive oxygen species increases, calpenes increases, endonucleases increases, ATPases increases and phospholipases increases. As you can see here, the 11th step. 12th step, this phospholipases break the cell membrane of the neuron. So due to breakage of the cell membrane, a lot of free radicals enter the cell. These free radicals will attack the mitochondria and causes destruction of the mitochondria. The mitochondria will release toxins and apoptotic factors as you can see in the 14th step. The 15th step, due to the apoptotic factors and toxins, the cell death occurs and the glutamate load and the calcium load which is present in the neuron is once released and the uh, excess calcium and glutamate which is released will attack the new new neurons and it will degenerate the new neurons. So this is why uh, most of the uh, new, uh, neurodegenerative diseases are progressive. They do not stop because of this process. So thank you guys. I think you might have got a clear idea about excitotoxicity now and I am going to take leave. Bye.